Hey, this is from Sharks. It's in Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. And we're going to finally answer that age-old question. Is it Delano or Delano? It's Delano. It's the ace of Vegas. The ace of Vegas. Opened in 2003 under the name of the Hotel, Delano Las Vegas is a hotel within a hotel at Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. The Delano Tower can be accessed by cutting through the main Mandalay Bay Casino and taking the walkway past the Michael Jackson One showroom. The property was rebranded as the Delano after MGM partnered with Morgan's Hotel Group, but did that make a big difference? Let's find out today. All right, Spinners and Sharks coming in from the rideshare exit here. We have the two giant doors, and then that leads us right into the hotel lobby. So immediately to your left, you have your full body mirror, so you can still check yourself again before you hit the strip. Just FYI, shout out to TVP as always as well as the cafe. Now, these are usually pretty busy cafes here. This is the 3940 Coffee and Tea Cafe. And actually, this morning has been relatively quiet, but they do have a lounge that you can sit down and relax in here while you enjoy your overpriced coffee and tea. Immediately to your left, you're gonna see the hotel elevators. This is where you can get up to one of 1,100 rooms and suites. Well, actually, it's mostly suites here at the Delano because the Delano is an all-suites hotel. When you go up the elevator, it is actually key locked, so you do have to use your access card in order to press the buttons there. While we're here, worth noting, the property's second floor does have an impressive spa and fitness center. The spa, known as the Bathhouse, covers 15,000 square feet and is the main feature retained from Mandalay Resort Group's The Hotel after MGM took over. Not to be left out of the experience, French-born Alain Ducasse has decided to open a restaurant at the hotel better known as Delano now, called Revea, where he focuses primarily on French and Italian-inspired cuisine, shareable dishes, as well as classic on-the-grill tastes. Also, in the back over here, we do have the hotel's name namesake, Franklin Delano, and their whole lounge there. Currently, it is closed. This is a June, a mid-June trip here. So, unfortunately, the staffing crisis is not resolved yet. But there's also more lobby, general lobby area that you can enjoy. And speaking of general lobby area here, we're going to be walking back towards the front check-in and check-out areas. Now you can always check out with the mobile app over here. They have the nice little QR codes. But if you prefer, you can come on in, maybe do a little $20 tip, talk to the concierge in their nice little area here. Of course, they have the check-in counter on the side as well. Not terribly well lit, but still a nice place. You can also do your FedExing over here and check out the VIP lounge where you can check in and check out there. And then just a little more lobby spacing here. Additionally, the hotel does have a bathhouse and spa on the second floor. As of this video, it is presently closed. I suspect again due to the overall staffing shortage in Las Vegas and also the fact that it's the start of the weekend, it is Friday morning. All right, we'll continue our walk down the hall here. Immediately to the left here, we do have the Essence Shop. That is your hotel essential shop. Purchase all sorts of different liquor, sports apparel, and occasionally overpriced snacks here. Not a bad place to stop by. And then while we come down this hallway here, we're going to immediately see lots of extra spaces to sit down. Bathrooms over to the left. And then we also can tour Della's Kitchen here. 
So again, this venue is currently closed. It doesn't look like COVID is going to release its grip on Las Vegas anytime soon. Because a lot of these restaurants are still suffering. I actually had breakfast at the Sea Breeze Cafe. I'll probably put a link to that video in the description box. But yeah, they were definitely suffering and that hurts the experience a little bit. Be aware of that when you're booking your vacation. And the rest of this hallway is just going to lead you back down to the Mandalay Bay, but not before we take one last important stop off here. So if you're interested, there is this Skyfall Lounge that's going to take you up to the 64th floor so you can enjoy the majesty of the Las Vegas Strip. Personally, I think I prefer the House of Blues Foundation Room. It gives a really good view. Also, I like House of Blues better as a whole, but if you're looking for a classier alternative, Skyfall Lounge might be the one for you. And that takes us to the end of Delano. All right, there's Spinners and Sharks. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Have you been to Delano? Do you plan on taking a trip now that you've seen it? Well, whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Till next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing off, and I'm wishing you all strong hands, and, of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.